Hello and welcome to another web learning episode where knowledge is shared. In this episode I will show how to update the ST-Link in the Nucleo 64. The board that I am using is the L053 Nucleo and it looks just like this. This board has two sections. The top part is the ST-Link, that's the debugger. The bottom part is the actual microcontroller with, a, with Arduino Uno connector and the MOFU connector. The ST-Link itself has a microcontroller from ST, the STM32F103, a USB connector, two jumper pins, and a header. The jumper pins are, are used to connect to the bottom part of the microcontroller. If you want to debug your own board, you have to remove those two jumpers, and then you can use this header to connect to your own board. The JP1 pin is an override pin. The STM32F103 ST-Link holds the N reset pin of the main microcontroller in low as long as you are not connected to a computer. Now if you want to show your board you have to connect one jumper to the JP1 pin and then you can only you only need to power the board and it overrides the N reset pin. You can find two jumpers behind of the CN11 and CN12. In order to update to the latest firmware of the STM32F103 ST-Link, you need to use the ST-Link utility or another software. So let's begin. When you first plug your board, you will see the computer loading the USB profiles. In my case, because I have the board already connected, all the USB profiles are already set. In order to update the board, you can do one of two things. First one is use the STM Link Utility. The STM Link Utility has many features, and I'll show them in a different episode. In Google, we need to search for ST Link Utility, and the first link that we have is the software itself. You need to get software, download, and install. After you finish the process, this is the software that you see. Under ST Link, you have firmware update and then you click device connect this could take this could take some time because the microcontroller has to switch from working mode into DFU mode what you see now is the firmware version and upgrade to the firmware 2 in my case I know that this is not the latest version I can update it now or I'll also show you how to update the ST-Link upgrade. In order to upgrade the ST-Link you don't need to install the whole software. In order to update the software all you need to do is search Google for ST-Link firmware upgrade and then you see you have the STSW link 005. We need to click Get Software, Accept, Login, Save, and then open the folder. Inside the folder, you can see that there are two folders all platform and Windows. I'm using the Windows platform and you can find two files. The first file is the upgrade and the second is, a, is the ST-Link USB driver. As I said before there are two ways to update the firmware. One is through the ST-Link utility and the other one is this one. In fact the ST-Link utility uses this software in order to update. It simply calls it from within the ST-Link utility. As you can see, the latest software is J27, while I have J24. I can click Yes, 
need updates to firmware. In order to keep the files into SDLink utility, what you can do is just copy those files to the SDLink utility folder. It's under your PC, local drive, program files, x86, ST microelectronics, STM32 STLink utility, and STLink utility. And there you can see those two files. You just paste them, replace them. Now, if we go back to the S-Link utility, firmware update, device connect, you can see that it calls the same files with the latest version. I hope you enjoy this movie. Click subscribe so you'll get more notifications when I load new videos. Thank you.